Okay, so I like it when I'm able to be the first person to drop a secret on some nude information. Um, as you can see from my videos today, I was messing around for about five hours with the Fuji X-T2. The Fuji rep had two Fuji X-T2s. When she got there, um, she uh, said that she had uh, downloaded the newest firmware. Obviously, she's the only person that can download firmware for the X-T2, which is an unreleased camera. You're going to like this bit. This is good. Um, the, the cameras went back and forth between different hands, so she updated the firmware on one of the X-T2s, but not the other one. I got to have my hands on both X-T2s after people got done playing with them. The one that she didn't update said body version 1.00. The performance on it was different. Then, and I'm going to tell you this, this is the neat part, okay? Yay! Um, she updated the firmware on the second Fuji body and uh, when I got my hands on it, you know, you had pressed the uh, back button and turned it on to see the body version. It said firmware version 1.3.5. And that was the one, now I've seen video about how smoking fast the autofocus is on the Fuji X-T2. Well, we took the one with the new firmware and it took a long time for her to update it. I, she might have been using a slow card. I don't know what she was using, but I remember standing there waiting for the firmware to update as she was updating it um, because I guess she just got in from the hotel. We caught her as she came in with the two cameras. She whipped out her SD card slots, her SD cards, and uh, she said she's going to update the firmware in the one. So anyway, I verified that twice. I checked the firmware twice to make sure I would get it right on both bodies because I was there all day long until close from when they got there about two o'clock or so until six o'clock so the uh, the second body which I've got a video of the example the autofocus tracking is like what the fuck is fast it's not fast it is is it faster than the Nikon D500 which is already really fast the answer is oh yeah um, so anyway, the uh, latest, what sort of other changes were made, I don't know. I can only tell you that the firmware on the one X-T2 uh, body was version 1.00, and the one that she updated as I watched her there was 1.35. They may be the final release firmware version that goes to market, I don't know. But I can tell you that the performance, because I kept going back and forth between the bodies, checking the autofocus tracking, and there was a difference. Well, that's an understatement. There was a difference. So, you take that for what it means, but, um, we, uh, well, the one, the camera was in the one guy's hands when he did that. I was uh, doing a bunch of uh, continuous autofocus tracking, but he did one where a motorcyclist flew around the corner, and uh, he caught all of the shots in focus. Uh, in the video, it might look like for a few seconds that the, the, the motorcyclist was not in focus, but he was. It was actually my camera that I was filming the back of the uh, X-T2 screen was not in focus. So anyway, you take that for what it is. So maybe in the original autofocus tracking was already awesome. And because uh, there was a performance difference between the two. So you take that for what it is. Uh, those are the facts. And... Uh, Okay, bye.